uh, some of you, uh, the more concerned out there, uh, may worry why it is that uh, children these days, and by children I mean anybody under age 50, seem so unable to find their way around the world. I mean, it's not a question of just knowing Madras from your elbow, it's being able to find your way just down the road without the aid of a sat-nav, which, of course, most of them can't do. Um, the reason for this, if you think about it, is obvious. The standard of geography teaching has plummeted in the last few decades because they've all been tied up with things like human geography and stuff like that. So anyway, here's some hard facts, some hard geographical facts. Children, fetch a pen and paper and we'll start with something simple. Iceland. It's a nice land. It's a nice enough to want to see twice land. It's better than the curry and the spice land. And it floats in the middle of the sea. Greenland. It's a clean land. It's a not a lot of people to be seen land. San America and Europe in between land. And that's all you need to know for free. Finland. Fairly thin land. Something of a vodka and a gin land. It's a quite a chilly country to be inland, and they've got a lot of trees and lakes. Lapland. It's a crap land. It's a not a proper country on the map land. It's an overcoat and boots and furry cap land, and they eat a lot of Rudolph steaks. Fact. Thailand. Not the shy land. It's much more part peninsula than island. It's got place names that'll make you want to smile and the best ones not pronounced Phuket. Slovenia is stuck between ya. Austria and Bosnia Herzegovina. It doesn't share a border, say with Kenya. But they've both got lots of hills, you bet. Now, where the lands like the Netherlands are found, nobody's certain. They may be on the border of Narnia, Holland or the Iron Curtain. Australia, word in Talia. Haven't learned to never be a failure. Cos if you're skinny, pale and miserable, they jail you And make you walk about a bush all day China could be finer If you didn't have to pay so much to fly in a plane So if they moved to Asia Minor You could half the cost of takeaways Now geography is an ography Not an ology, whatever It just means you can be a BSc without having to be so clever. Korea could just be a better place to be if it were freer. In the south they might be fairly pleased to see you, but in the north they could be quite reserved. France land, it's a Nance land, though to some it's their idea of a romance land. But it's just a garlic, snails and barley dance land With the plumbing that its food deserves So that's the list that I'm sure's not missed any influential country Though some might say the USA or Spain if they had the effrontery Scotland Not a hot land it's a salty water porridge in the pot land. It's a crinkly round the edges, quite a lot land. And their favourite food is spudgy like. England! Not a single land. It's an attached to Wales and Scotland sort of thing land. But it's a civilised relieving map for King Land That the Bobby gets around by bike From the Solway Firth to Offa's Dyke The explanation why we're the nation All the other lands respect and like
plasticist.